It's the worst in senior English football. With only three wins and eight defeats, they're giving their supporters a turbulent ride this season. No wonder Jim Smith has asked for extra backing today. With Craig Burley and Branko Strupar both injured, the Derby team comprises nine nationalities. Georgie Kinkladzi is beginning to rediscover some of his form of old. Steve Elliott has been outstanding of late in defence. And up front, there's a starting place for 20-year-old Malcolm Christie. With four goals in five games, it appears he can now put his days as a supermarket shelf stacker firmly behind him. Wimbledon keep the side and the 4-4-2 formation that held Manchester United last week. Hartson and Thatcher are the most notable absentees. Neil Sullivan, out of contract at the end of the season, is the subject of interest from a number of leading clubs. Side with four inside the penalty area. Hoisted by Bohina. Delap. And Derby's throw. Carbonari eventually will get forward. It's not the quickest dash you've ever seen up from the back. Now he has got that. King Cladson. Powell. Christie! It's a fine save by on top against Wimbledon. And they've never beaten them in the Premiership. They will point to the day a couple of seasons ago when they were leading here when the lights went out. In the first ever game at Pride Park. And now it's Egil Olsen's job to make sure that the Premiership lights don't go out on Wimbledon. Hardly. Anderson, the centre forward, at this moment, rather than the centre back. And Horidison caught up field, may give Derby a better chance. Powell, King Clancy. They're backing off him. Can he make them pay? They're still backing off. Oh! Clip the top of the bar. And what were Wimbledon doing? They were encouraging King Clancy. To come at them. Eventually, Wilmot went towards him. Delap. Iranio. Christie's made a darting little run. He's left it for King Clancy, who's tried to shape it! Oh, how he deserves that! He's back. Make no mistake about it. Question mark against the goalkeeper, maybe. But even so, if ever a player deserved a goal, then it was Georgie King Clancy, whose touch on occasions has been mesmeric. The irony is that the goal was relatively straightforward. A simple finish after some very fine build-up play. His first Premiership goal since a mesmeric effort against Southampton almost four years ago to the day. And here's Christie from the kickoff, Trying to burrow his way through on his own. And he thought he'd done enough to win a free kick. Iranio to take. There's Powell. He's making a fair impression. King Cladsey. Oh, that was handball. Wimbledon having to use every conceivable tactic to stop King Cladsey. Fair means or foul. It's hardly he put his hand on the ball. It remains to be seen whether King Clancy is going to be able to continue, and Jim Smith is hurrying out just to see how bad the injury is. There's no way that they're going to want to replace him unless they're absolutely forced to. So with only ten men, Derby take the free kick. Here's Christie! Derby haven't had many days this season. 
Well, this looks like being one of the few. To score from a free kick with your best player off the pitch. Only ten of you on it. Well, things are going your way, but Derby deserve it. They lead 2-0, and Christie has scored for the fifth time in six games. Oil. Anderson is a nuisance. So much of a nuisance that Derby have got the free kick. It's been a colourless performance by Wimbledon. Strangely subdued. Johnson in. And a free header. Makes it three. From Dion Burton. In the old days, you would scarcely ever have seen the former Wimbledon team concede a goal like that, unchallenged at the back post. It completes a resounding victory for Derby, which may just turn their season around. The scorer, a Jamaican from Ashford. And from the restart, a complete waste. Only 12 goals in 13 home games prior to today. So three is bounty indeed in the same match. Anderson. Schnorr. Derby apparently with power to add more. Burton's in a threatening position in the middle. There's Sturridge! They're all getting in on the act. Schnorr who set it up with a break that went from one end of the pitch to the other. And then the perfect angle delivery. If Sturridge hadn't got there, then Burton might well have done. But all over the pitch there have been impressive performances from Derby players. Dean Sturridge got the last of the goals. I say the last. It will be the last now. And no way was that the performance of a team threatened by relegation. But this will be remembered as the day that Georgie King Clancy rediscovered his book of magical tricks time at Pride Park, which tonight is full of pride. Derby County 4, Wimbledon 0.